Today guys, we are looking at 26 new combos in Chapter 5. In this video, we are only going to be looking at Fortnite skin combos that have been added to the game in Chapter 5, either Season 1 or Season 2. So every single skin and pickaxe in this video are some of the newest items in the game, and we are also going to be talking about some of the most tryhard combos that you can make with only Chapter 5 items. So make sure you guys watch the entire video, and let me know in the comments down below what combo is your favorite. Make sure to go down and hit the like and the subscribe button if you are new you as well and use code KaruYT in the Fortnite item shop. But let's just get straight into it guys and we are starting off with Hella and Soccer's Space Sword. This is an entire collab combo. We've talked about Soccer's Space Sword a few times on the channel before. It came to the game with the Avatar collab and it is one of the more underrated pickaxes that we have actually seen this season. I am really a big fan of this so I feel like it is quite cool even though it is a cell shaded pickaxe. But Hella is a really interesting skin. This is one of the latest Marvel skins we have in the game. I honestly thought Marvel were going to run out of characters to add to Fortnite, but somehow they are still finding brand new ones to be added to the game, and Hella is really clean. We've seen this being quite popular because it is so new, but I feel like it could be quite tryhard in the future, but we're just going to have to wait and see as we move into Season 3. That takes us forward, guys, to the number 25 position, and we have Clara, and we are pairing this with the Stun Knife. This is actually one of the most underrated combos we have in the game this season. I'm a big fan of this. I feel like Clara is a really, really clean skin, but because it was part of a bundle, I just feel like so many people overlooked this skin. The Star Knife was actually really clean as well. It was added to the Battle Pass as a pickaxe for the Solid Snake skin, and I feel like a lot of those secret Battle Pass items don't really get that much attention anymore, so a lot of people probably didn't even realize that they had unlocked this pickaxe. It is one of the smallest items in the game, though, and a lot of pros and streamers want to use some small pickaxes so it doesn't take up too much of their screen and I feel like this stun knife fits that profile absolutely perfectly. One combo that has actually been quite popular though would have to be Valeria and we are pairing this with the Immortal War Doru. Valeria was actually part of the Chapter 5 Season 1 Battle Pass and it was the Tier 100 skin during that season. I'm a big fan of this. I thought this skin was so underrated and deserved to be a lot more popular. Not only were the default styles of this really clean but the super edit styles just improved how good this actually was as well. And this isn't even the coolest part about the skin. There was actually an emote where you could transform between two different edit styles in game, which is something that we had never seen before. And I feel like that was just such a clean addition to the game. So I really do love that. And I feel like it is so underrated at the moment. One combo that was also added to the game in season one though is Silas Hesk. And we are pairing this with Wix Katana. Silas Hesk was actually the Fortnite crew skin for January. So it was the brand new Fortnite crew skin for 2024. I feel like this skin was so sick. A lot of Fortnite crew skins never really become that popular or try hard in Fortnite, but they've been adding some really cool ones to the game lately, so I thought we would bring attention to this amazing skin. What is really cool about these as well is that the Fortnite crew bundles are only improving in the future. You do pay around $10, you get a thousand V-Bucks for free, you get a battle pass for free as well, as long as some other really cool items. But the newest addition to this is actually new edit styles for some of the older Fortnite crew skins for up to six months. This is such a good addition. I feel like this really improves the Fortnite Crew bundle, and it also makes it so that if one bad skin does get added to the Fortnite Crew series, then it is still worth paying the $10 a month because the older items might be worth it. Because this does have so many edit styles as well, I feel like Wix Katana is going to fit in with pretty much every single style, and that is why I love it a lot. You guys might find a pickaxe that is better for this, but at the moment, Wix Katana would definitely have to be one of the best. Let's move on though to another male combo, and this is Peter Griffin, and we pairing it with the Scratcher. This is probably going to be one of the biggest meme combos we ever see. Peter Griffin was obviously added in the Chapter 5 Season 1 Battle Pass as well, so it is never going to be available again, but I know a lot of you guys bought this Battle Pass purely just because Peter Griffin was in it. We did get three different styles for this as well. I am a little bit disappointed we didn't get super edit styles for this skin. I feel like that really would have made this one of the best skins of all time, but we have a default Peter Griffin. We have a Tuxedo Peter Griffin and then of course a fully golden suit Peter Griffin as well which is my personal favorite. I feel like the pickaxe for this wasn't amazing but the scratcher is part of the family guy theme so we just had to include these items together. There are going to be some pickaxes that probably fit in better with this but at the moment I just feel like the scratcher is the best option. Another collab combo that we just had to mention though is the goddess Nike skin and we're pairing this with the leviathan axe. Now this is a really interesting skin. I feel like they've actually collaborated
collaborated with Nike quite a few times, and I didn't really expect them to keep collaborating with Nike in Fortnite, but it is a really cool collab, and I like this skin a lot. I don't know how tryhard this is going to become in the future, but if the Apollo Prodigy and some of the other collab skins that we do have in the game are an example of this, I feel like this is only going to gain more popularity in the future. There is only one style for it, which again might be the downfall of this skin, but the color styles are really clean. It also doesn't really look like a Nike skin, which just makes it even better, and I feel like this adds to the possibility of this skin only becoming more popular in the future. The Leviathan Axe fits in with the color style of this. I feel like it fits in with the flame edit style of this as well, and of course, might even make this more tryhard as well. Let's move on to the number 20 position, and we have Odyssey, and we're pairing this with the Stellar Striker. Odyssey might be one of the most innovative skins Fortnite has ever added to the game. Obviously, there are a bunch of skins with brand new edit styles and also highly customizable skins now in the game, but Odyssey works in a completely different different way. There are a bunch of edit styles for this, but the more that you guys grind out the ranked game mode of Fortnite, the more edit styles you actually unlock. I feel like that is a really cool feature. We don't see too many other items like this being added to the game, but I feel like the major downside for this is that Fortnite decided to add this game into the item shop. If this was added as a free skin for playing like 5 or 10 different ranked games, then I feel like so many more people would be using it today, but since not everyone is going to love the design of this, and then also making 1,200 V-Bucks might have been Fortnite's biggest mistake. I feel like the Stellar Striker is going to fit in with this, and it is just a really cool pickaxe that was added this season. But one combo that I do prefer a little bit more is the Solid Snake, and we're pairing this with Wix Katana. Solid Snake is the secret battle pass skin from Chapter 5 Season 1. We have had a bunch of amazing battle pass skins added in Chapter 5 so far, but I feel like Solid Snake has been one of the better ones. Sometimes the secret battle pass skins never really get the pop popularity that they deserve because the battle pass has a bunch of hype around it when it first gets added to the game and then the skins and items that do get added die down quite quickly and usually when solid snake and the rest of the secret skins are unlocked I feel like a lot of people just want to use item shop cosmetics again still though this was a really cool secret battle pass skin I've been using it a bunch and it is definitely one of the better male skins that we have seen let's move on to a skin that was just added to the game and this is Harpy Haze and we are pairing it with Soccer's Space Sword Harpy Haze is actually one of the latest bundle skins that we have seen in Chapter 5. The bundle skins in Fortnite are some of the best. I think they spend a lot of time designing these bundle skins, and they always look really clean, but obviously since you have to pay money for them instead of V-Bucks, I feel like it does turn a lot of people away from actually buying it. Still though, Harpy Haze is really clean. The Soccer Space Sword might not be the first pickaxe for this, but I do again just think it fits in with the theme of these brand new combos, but it definitely does fit the theme of this video, which is brand new combos combos and brand new items. We obviously don't want to be using the same pickaxes over and over again, so I feel like the Soccer Space Sword is pretty unique and it is going to fit in with this skin as well. Let's move on though to the number 17 position and we have Chewbacca and we're pairing this with the Gaffy Stick. Now this is an entire Star Wars combo. I'm sure you guys know by now, but I am a huge Star Wars fan. I just feel like they are some of the coolest items we've ever had in Fortnite and the movies are just so good as well, but I feel like Fortnite have absolutely absolutely nailed this collab. Chewbacca is one of the most hyped up skins we've seen in a really long time, and it is cool that you actually get this in sort of a Lego mini battle pass. It is really different to how other Star Wars skins have been introduced to the game, but hopefully this is something that we do see more in the future. The Gaffy Stick fits in with these skins so perfectly, and it's also part of the Star Wars franchise, so we just had to include these items together. Next up though guys, we have Eclipse, and we're pairing this with the Air Nomad Staff. Eclipse was added to the game with a crossover with Nine. Nike. We haven't had too many clothing crossovers over the last few seasons, but Eclipse is one of the cleanest skins. I feel like the Nike skins have actually gained quite a bit of popularity. A lot of the other collabs with Ralph Lauren and Balenciaga never really gained the popularity that I think Fortnite thought they would up until maybe a few seasons ago, but Eclipse has been quite popular and we have seen some pros and streamers using this in the more competitive game modes as well. And Nomad Staff was added with the latest Avatar collab. This is one of the more recent collabs that we have had in in Fortnite. Again, it's probably not going to fit in with Eclipse absolutely perfectly. You probably don't want to use something like the Scully Scepter or even the Star Wand with this, but since they were added before Chapter 5, we have ended up going with the Air Nomad Staff. This is definitely going to be a combo that we see tryhard players using, but if you are a little bit of a theme player, you might prefer to use something like Budge and the Determination Daggers instead. Budge is one of the biggest meme skins we're ever going to see. It was added to the game with the Birds of a Feather Bundle, and this did set you back around two 
500 V-Bucks, but you did get three skins in this. We obviously had Budge, we had Tex Flamingo as well, and Sergeant Drake. So you can use any of those skins with this pickaxe, and it is still going to be considered a meme combo. I'm a huge fan of Budge though. I feel like it is one of the cleanest looking skins Fortnite has ever designed. The color styles look so sick. It is so different to everything else we have in the game as well. And with so many people starting to use more tryhard skins and items in the game, it's really refreshing to see Fortnite adding some of the biggest meme items as well. Speaking of one of those tryhard combos, so we may as well move on to the Dynamic Hush, and we're pairing this with the High Frequency Blade. Dynamic Hush is definitely one of the more tryhard skins that has been added in Chapter 5. It is basically a remake of Hush, which was already a good skin, and has been remade before with the Double Agent Hush, but this is definitely an improvement on that, even though it has a lot of the same features. It has a simplistic white and black edit style, and there is also a gold and black edit style, which has been the more popular one, and probably the most tryhard one as well. It is just so well designed, a lot of pros and streamers have been using this as well, so I feel like it is only going to become more tryhard in the future, and probably more popular as well. The High Frequency Blade is a really clean pickaxe, it is so underrated as well, and similar to what we talked about earlier with the Soccer Space Sword, it is just good to use some different pickaxes that I'm sure a lot of you guys have completely forgotten about, and the High Frequency Blade is definitely that. That takes us forward though to the number 13 position, and we have the AWR Trooper, and we are pairing this with the Vibro Axe. This is one of the latest Star Wars collabs that we have had in Fortnite. The AWR Trooper is one of my favorite Star Wars characters. I feel like this Clone Trooper or the Storm Trooper variant just looks so sick. The armor is really cool. In game, it does also look really cool, but it does have a weird glowing or metallic effect where it is a little bit reflective, which is probably the only downside to this. The original Storm Trooper skins and the Clone Trooper skins don't have this, so I don't know why this is the only skin that does, but I still feel like it is really clean and one of the only Star Wars skins that will probably stay popular for a few more weeks. The Vibro Axe was also introduced with this update. I feel like this is an amazing pickaxe to pair with this. The colors just work so well together and it is definitely going to be one of the more popular combos for Chapter 5, but I don't know how tryhard this will actually be. If you do want a big meme combo though, then we need to talk about our next combo and this is Philosopher Bananocrates and we're pairing this with the Philosopher's Tools. Now, both of these items were designed together, so it makes sense that this combo does look clean. It is also one of the newer skins and pickaxes in the game, so we had to include it on the list. And it is a little bit different to most of the other items in this video because it isn't necessarily known as a tryhard combo. I feel like both of these items just look so clean. We had to include it on the list. I've been a big fan of this. A lot of pros and streamers have been using it as well. And I cannot wait to see if this does gain to more popularity in the future. Let's move on, though, guys, to the number 11 position, and we have Aubrey, and we are pairing this with the Icy Peace Axes. Aubrey is one of the most underrated skins in Chapter 5. This has so much potential to be one of the most tryout skins of all time as well, but I feel like a lot of people are going to forget this exists probably in a few weeks. Pros and streamers like Clicks have actually started to use this in tournaments and cash cups, so hopefully that means this will only gain popularity in the future, but I just don't know how often this is going to return to the store. This is one of those skins that can be considered either a meme skin or a tryhard skin, which are definitely some of my favorite skins. And it can also be quite hard to find a pickaxe that fits in with this because it is so detailed, but the Icy Peace Axes does a good job. And this actually came to game with the Summit Seeker EV skin. That takes us to the top 10 though, and starting us off is Hades, and we're pairing this with the Immortal War Doru. Hades is part of the current season's Battle Pass Chapter 5 Season 2, and this is the Tier 100 skin. We have seen a bunch of Tier 100 skins in the past, but I feel like Hades might be one of the more underrated ones. Not only are male skins just usually more underrated, but because it is such a grind to unlock this, I feel like a lot of people will just end up using some of these skins like Aphrodite in this battle pass, or just some regular item shop skins. The super edit style for this skin also make it look really clean, and just add extra detail to it. I feel like it improves it so, so much, and it is just a flex that you guys have grinded out this season before anyone else. The Immortal War Doru is going to match it with most styles for this, and it is a really unique looking pickaxe, which just makes it even better. One skin that definitely has been a lot more popular though is the Summon Seeker Eevee, and we are pairing this with the Axe O. I'm honestly kind of surprised that Summon Seeker Eevee was added in Chapter 5, because it feels like it was so long ago. This is a remake of Eevee, which was a Battle Pass skin from Chapter 3. This is one of the most hyped skins for 
a really long time, Eevee was so popular, and Summit Seeker Eevee, I feel like, was a little bit of a letdown. We didn't really have too many edit styles for this. They did add in an edit style, which basically just removed the glasses, which didn't really change it at all. I feel like they needed to add an edit style where it does take the jacket off. A lot more people would be using this skin then, so that might always be something they do add to the game in the future. The Axo was actually the pickaxe design for the weekend, and since the weekend was a really popular collab, I feel like this pickaxe was also really clean. I do like this quite a bit, and it is going to fit in with pretty much every single skin in your locker, regardless of if it is Summit Seeker Eevee or something like Aubrey. Let's move on, guys, and next up, we have Inferno Skeleton J Bolvin, and we're pairing this with the Stellar Striker. Both of these items are some of the newest ones in the game. The Inferno Skeleton J Bolvin is one of the latest additions to the Icon series, and this was a really unexpected skin that came to the game around the same time that we had a Coachella collab. I really like the way this skin looks. I think it is an improvement on the original J Bolvin skin. No one has really used that for a really long time. I feel like the color styles were so detailed and it was so full on. And even though this one is very similar, it is just toned down a little bit. And in my opinion, I think it is a lot better. The Stellar Striker is going to match in with this skin really well as well. And we have already seen pros and streamers using this. So I feel like this combo is only going to get better in the future. Another battle pass combo that we just had to mention on this list is Aphrodite. And we're pairing this with Wix Katana. Aphrodite is one of those battle pass skins that is going to be a lot more popular than something like Hades. And that is because not only is it unlocked a lot earlier in the battle pass, but it is a lot more tryhard as well. We have so many different styles for this. So all the edit styles do look quite unique. We have a pink edit style that Ninja has been using in the past that also sort of is one of the more popular styles, but I feel like the default style is easily the best one. It has been so popular and tryhard throughout the first few weeks of the season, but now that we are getting towards the end of season two, it has dropped off quite a bit, and I feel like a lot of people are just preferring to use item shop skins. Still though, the super edit styles just made this even better. It is just a flex that you grinded out this season as well, and because all of them look so different and unique, you do want to use a simplistic pickaxe with this, and the Wix Katana is the perfect one. It is, again, one of my favorite pickaxes that we have in the game, and you could also pick this up for only 500 V-Bucks. Let's move on, guys, to the number six position, and we have Avatar State Ang and the Warhammer's pickaxe. Now, we have mentioned a few cell shader combos in this video, but there is no doubt that Avatar State Ang is the most popular one, and that probably won't be changing anytime soon. This was sort of like the last skin that you unlocked in the mini avatar battle pass that we did get during season two. Again, I'm a huge fan of these mini battle passes. I think they are really successful. They do a good job of getting people actually involved with the collab that Fortnite is doing as well, as opposed to just adding a bunch of items to the item shop. So I am really glad they did this and it was a grind in order to unlock it. This skin looks so sick and it does look a lot cooler than the original Ang skin as well, because of the glowing effect to it. The Warhammers was also part of this avatar collab. It might not be the perfect pickaxe for this, but again, it is a cell shaded pickaxe, so I feel like we just had to include these items together. One combo that a lot of tryhard players will end up using, though, is going to be Reverie, and we are pairing this with the Stellar Striker. Reverie was the starter pack skin from Chapter 5 Season 1, so I doubt this will be returning to the game in the future, but it did set you back around $4, and he's easily going to be one of the best starter pack skins that we ever see. I feel like a lot of people underestimate how good these starter packs actually are. You pay $4, you get a skin, a pickaxe, and 500 V-Bucks for free. So it is definitely one of the better bundles to buy, especially if you want some V-Bucks as well. This is actually quite similar though to something like Summit Seeker Eevee, where we did get an edit style for this, but the edit style just takes the hat on or off. It would have been a lot better if the edit style added in a different color variant. I feel like it would have made it a lot more popular and we would see more people using it if this style was different. Still though, it is really clean. The Stellar Striker is going to fit in with it quite well. But again, it probably won't be a perfect match. One combo that is going to look a lot better though would have to be Lana Lane, and we are pairing this with the Scratcher. We've mentioned the Scratcher a few times, but I'm a huge fan of this pickaxe, and it is going to work with every single edit style for Lana Lane, which is the best part about it. We already talked about Silas Hesk earlier on in this video, but Lana Lane was the Fortnite crew skin for February, and it just took the Fortnite crew skins to a level we hadn't really seen before. This was 
used by a bunch of pros and streamers, which again, not a lot of Fortnite crew skins actually are. All of the color edit styles look really different for each month that you are subscribed to the Fortnite crew bundle, and it just seems like it is getting better and better better. It will probably never be available again though, so if you guys didn't pick it up during February, then chances are you have just missed out on this skin forever. One skin that you can still get today though is Billie Eilish, and we are pairing this with the Gold Crow. Now, Billie Eilish is the latest Fortnite Festival skin, and it is part of the Festival Pass. This is by far going to be the most popular skin that we have seen from the Fortnite Festival, I think up until this point in Fortnite. We are definitely going to be getting some amazing skins added to the Fortnite Festival in the future, but Billie Eilish Eilish is just such an amazing skin, and the two edit styles really do look different for this as well, which is perfect. The Gold Crow might not be the best pickaxe for this, I feel like the colors actually do work in quite well together, and since both edit styles for Billie Eilish are so different, it actually might make it a little bit more difficult to find an ideal pickaxe for this. You could always help this out for something a little bit more simplistic like the Icebreaker or even the Driver pickaxe, but for right now, I feel like this is one of my favorite combos in the game, and it could even easily become a lot more tryhard in the future as well. Let's move on the guys to the number two position and we have Ascendant Midas and we are pairing this with the Gun Swinger. I think Ascendant Midas has been the most hyped up skin we have seen in a long time. Whenever Fortnite adds in a Midas remake, they always get a lot of attention and Ascendant Midas was just the latest addition to this. We have had Shadow Midas, Midsummer Midas and Midas Rex in the past, but I feel like this might be one of the better ones. The design is really incredible. I feel like the golden effect is really sick. That is obviously carried over from the original Midas skin, but we do also have a green ghost effect, which is quite cool and different to most other skins in the game. It is good that these edit styles are completely different, but it can mean that it is quite hard to find a pickaxe that is going to match in with both but I feel like the Gunswinger does a pretty good job. This was quite a underrated pickaxe as well. So hopefully by talking about this, a lot more of you guys might actually realize that you have this in your locker. Even though this is one of the most hyped up skins, it isn't good enough to be coming in at the number one position. And that is because we have Champion Siren and we are pairing this with Mikey's Nunchucks. Champion Siren is the latest FNCS skin for chapter five, season two. It is one of the best FNCS skins we have ever seen. Siren was already a very tryhard skin and Fortnite just made this even better. It is so well done. The edit style for this and the color styles are just incredible. But my only worry with this skin is that FNCS skins never really stay that popular. And obviously it only features in the store for season two. So if you guys are watching this during season three or season four, you will never be able to buy this skin again. I hope you guys did though, because it is going to be one of the best combos moving forward. I can already tell how trying hard this is going to be. And I feel like this might actually take some popularity away from the original Siren skin, which is so, so cool. Again, this probably isn't the best pickaxe for this. You could always use the pickaxes that were designed for this, which are the Determination Daggers, but I still really like Mikey's Nunchucks with this and feel like this could easily become one of the more tryhard combos as well. But there you guys go. That is my video talking about 26 brand new combos in Chapter 5. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below, and I'll see you all next time.